Okay. So this is um uh Podo four six uh V six front sh shock absorber kit. Um so this um anyway let me just go straight to the point. The a client of mine who drives a four six V six uh manual change his uh, front shock absorber. Um unfortunately fortunately for he was able to get uh, direct uh four six V six manual one as well which matched the vehicle so he didn't need the old one he what he removed anyway so because of that I I took the spring so to do that of course I had to remove it from the shock the damper and then of course the steering mount the shock has our mount so um at least this is very very important especially for VC users because uh, any, if anything happens, if you miss yours, you might not be able to get this easily. Because even if, um, of course, they will be in the market, but how would you know which one is, is which? You need one to be able to identify um, the one you want. So, um, that's why to post. It's very, very important if you are changing your front shock absorbers. In fact, any of your shock absorber, the rear or the front, and um, the is attached on the the spring is attached on the shock absorber trust me do not lose that spring my advice is remove your old spring or as long as it's not broken and put it on the new shock absorber you have. even if the shock absorber you purchased came with its own spring don't use that spring remove the old one as long as you are sure it's the factory one and put there if you want your car to maintain the same ground clearance Unless you don't mind if your ground clearance change, meaning it could drop lower or go up higher than it should. Okay, so I hope this helps.